Give it a little spin. It's the Shoulder Snapper 9000. It's a tall bike, low traction. It's probably one of the dumber ideas we've had. What's up everybody, today on Cars and Cameras, welcome to part two of our all-wheel drive hybrid dirt bike build. Uh, in today's episode, we're gonna see what happens when you mount a 50-pound, 12-horsepower electric motor on the front of a dirt bike while you have the rear wheel powered by a 20-horsepower tilt in 225 racing engine. So the big challenges are gonna be mounting the batteries and electronics, finding a good spot for those, and of course, adapting our very wide, very heavy, uh, front hub motor to the front of our dirt bike. So we're going to start by getting everything stripped down and building an adapter to fit our front motor on the front end of this bike. So Charles, what do you think, buddy? Oh, well, um, I, I think really, it's looking sweet. You made exactly what was in my head. No, no, you did. Yeah, you did great. I, I had to go home. I wasn't, I was feeling a little under the weather and so was my son yesterday. And John took care of this. And the craziest thing great. for me is that basically all 12, I think it's like 10 horsepower normally, 12 horsepower over boosted or something, but all 12 horsepower goes through that 7 16th bolt. Yep, because uh, basically we're, the, the bolt, the bracket is like slotted, so there's fl two flat sides on the axle on both sides. So if the axle is stationary, then the, mo the wheel will spin. So if, if we lose locking on these i guess we're gonna spin and yank all the wires out <laughs> so those that's very crucial we definitely need to keep an eye on those yeah maybe we'll double we'll we'll double that no we probably should have slotted that but we didn't have any way to so we're just gonna send it right now but it looks very that is, cool that is true we talked about it and this it i even tried to dremel it dude and it was not happening okay not a quarter inch anyway so our task today is to come up with a safe battery hold down to hold our 35 pound battery yeah that battery weighs just as much as the tillotson uh sitting behind it and mounting our electronics so for battery hold downs we're gonna do kind of like a car and just have some angle iron that i'm gonna weld a piece onto with a hole drilled in it with a, uh, with a long bolt that goes down to, I don't know, here somewhere. So we got battery hold downs mocked up. I'm just gonna remove the battery so we don't have the biggest fireball I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, that would be bad. I've had my RC car go up with a small battery. So yeah. And that's a big one. Right. Whenever you're ready, bud. All right. Go. This paid off. Oh yeah. It's nice and cool now. You know that feeling when Ike is gonna walk in and say redo it? Yeah, this it ain't him. <laughs> I have that feeling. No, oh, it's it's okay. I mean this isn't bad. Is it gonna be enough to hold a 35 pound battery in place on like something that's gonna get the poopy beat out of it? That's a good point. So our simple battery hold down has turned into a giant uh, fixture because well we kept installing it and it was still wobbly and, and it, you know it, it's a big chunky thing it weighs 40 pounds and it's really going to get beat up yeah, um, that battery here. cannot get ruptured absolutely not it will blow up due to the moisture in the air yeah it'll be bad yeah so we've had a lot of questions and concerns about what are you going to do about throttles so show them dude we got this it's a i guess the electric twist grip and then Thumb throttle for drag racing purposes. I don't. It's Hill just, climbing, yeah, drag climb, racing. Yeah. Um, but what's what's really going to help us out is that this is like, see, there's no throttle, full throttle. It's like Which less than a quarter. Might be time. easy whiskey throttle, but 
it makes it to where when you're when you're gripping this with your fingers you can have your thumb exposed and then hit the thumb throttle in theory anyway in theory so let's try and yeah let's install see what happens we're waiting for this to cool down so who knows okay so that it's a little awkward but so if you start high i guess and you time it right you get oh, i guess i gotta tighten that up but you do get wot at about the same time that doesn't seem so bad to me okay yeah it's just, you know i mean so we have some brake levers and we don't know what they do so yeah, they've got like a little pressure sensor in them we're assuming it's regen so i'm gonna jack up the front wheel and we can just kind of power it up and play with the uh play with the throttle we don't have our clamps down here yet to get welded on so we're just gonna very lightly play with the throttle those are coming in sometime tonight so let's do it the packaging is pretty darn cool on this thing it's frankenstein as as all get out but it's not bad the funny thing is i was jacking this thing up so we can get the front tire off the ground and it's it's definitely forward of the middle point of the bike and it was jacking the rear of the bike up so that's just how much we have hanging off the front so we've mentioned this a couple times but this kit has been sitting around the shop for almost a year because we never decided if this was a good idea or not and so we have everything plugged in and we have no power anywhere so i'm going to try to plug it into the charger at the same time it's plugged into the whole everything else hey it stopped it's more than nothing. It's more than we is have. Is the screen before. doing anything? No. Oh. So this was a kit from Amazon, and it came with, like, no instructions, so that's why we're kind of figuring out as we go. Are you, are you doing that? The first one I did. Oh, okay. What's the lightning bolt do? I don't know. Nothing. Huh. All right, so we're just going to keep playing around with this thing. And I just played around with buttons until we have the screen come on. So right now we're on assist. So let's see if we have just a, uh, what does this do? Max speed, average speed. It's got different assist functions. I hope we don't have to like be pedaling this thing at the same time as uh, Ike brought that up. Oh, like it needs to be spinning first and right. then go? So let's see. Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, let me sit on this thing. So I'll turn the assist up. Can you give me a spin? Yeah. Assistance. Nothing. Okay. Let's just spin it. One more time. Mm. All right. Cool sound. It does, yeah. All right, we got to keep figuring this thing out. All right, George Jetson, John Jetson, it dude. So cool. Hold on, let me get real close so the mic can get it. Give it a little spin. Ah! I don't know why it's yelling at us. Everybody was so close to the screen to hear the motor, and then bam. Dude, it's got some run out. Either that, or we need to shim some stuff better. Like, is it sliding side to side a little bit, or? It's just a little wobbly. Okay. Uh, well, we also only have it attached in two spots. We need four. Oh, you lost it. Uh, I wonder if the battery is just like super dead. The last thing we were missing were these inch and three quarter lock collars. So we can notch this bracket and give this a weld on both sides. And then that way this bracket can't walk that way so let's see I've got both sides clearanced and notched and I'm gonna get ready to tack them here in a minute Cover. That should be good enough looks good right. well now we'll uh, remove them one at a time and I'll go and weld them up on the welding table and Make sure they didn't move too much. Cover. Whoops. Coming. 
Got her. So that sound you hear coming from behind me is the sound of success. We had to uh, put our battery into a recovery mode and use a manual power supply to basically get it to begin to charge. The battery was so low on voltage that a regular charger didn't even recognize it. So I have the BMS open now, we're at 85%. We're at a total of 79 volts, uh, right around four volts on each cell. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I <laughs> made sparks like three times today this morning. Trying to burn the shop now. So we're in for a real show. Basically, all that long story short, ready to bolt this battery in and give this another shot. I keep getting sketched out by this project, man, having gasoline so close to just a ginormous battery. Uh -huh. I just need to remember though, this is what like Ferrari is doing. What is Ferrari doing? Well, they're, they're making hybrid powertrains. Okay. Turbo V8 battery powered stuff. Oh, so we're in good company, man. It's not like any of those catch on fire. This isn't a Ferrari. Oh, I'm half Italian, so <laughs> that's something. <laughs> uh, was this fuel line hooked up with this battery in? No. I don't think it fits. <laughs> great <laughs> yeah and we got fuel in it yeah buddy be careful it's the shoulder snapper 9000 it's a tall bike low traction you can dunk it pretty easily no i have a kickstand no no kicks the race bike well did you just want to plug it in right here no and then push it out the door if it lights on fire yep cool just there's, there's there's a lot wrong <laughs> there's a lot wrong there's, there's a lot going on that's for sure yeah so, uh, I'm going to say uh, the red goes to... It's over here. Okay, thank you. The red goes to here. This should probably be a pretty short test drive because we have a lot of sharp edges. Uh-huh. All right, here we go. Uh, that's fine. Send it. There's a lot of spark. Yeah, dude. There's a base in there. <laughs> Uh-oh. Right. I didn't think we'd get this far. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> I'm scared. Well. <laughs> no freaking way. How does it feel? Really strange. <laughs> All right. She's she's a trencher. Wow. <laughs> Why don't I have a helmet on? What have we done? Look, it's silent. It, it's not threatening. <laughs> All right, I think since uh, the test is, I, I mean, I'm ready to go ahead and just put this thing together. Yeah. So let's put it together and we'll give it a shot. Yeah, sounds good. Ludicrous speed. Watch your paint. And my paint. Oh, that's uh, <laughs> <laughs> It's just all wheel spin. Okay, so the turn isn't too bad. You don't want to give it too much throttle. Okay? <laughs> it's just... It's, a <laughs> it's going all... It's going straight to max speed. What? It's going straight to max speed. It has doesn't have enough tread. It just wants to go, dude. Awesome. <laughs> um, this might have been a bad idea. Really? 
I mean, I don't know how fast it's gonna go, but it is just completely trenching the yard. What is he even doing? So, uh, it feels pretty good, but when the front tire starts to spin, it doesn't matter what you do, it just, it just wants to pull it straight because of the, all the drag on the rear. It just wants to go that way. You're telling me it acts like traction control? No. Stability control? No. All right. Anti-stability control. Ooh. Yes. High tech. It's really strange to be riding something that goes this fast and there's no sound. Yeah. <laughs> and I think most of the sound we're hearing is the belt spinning on the uh, on the CVT. Quinn said you can really hear the crashing now. Dude, even doing like 40 miles per hour, if you crack the throttle, the front tire gets to spinning and you turn the steering wheel and it doesn't turn. Nice. It seems to... It means it's fast. It's, it's probably one of the dumber ideas we've had. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Put her there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I do see a little bit of a problem with the, the control twisting and hitting the throttle. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a little tough. I'm sure. So maybe the throttle first and then hit the yeah the boost yeah so there's it's not in miles per hour let me let me just ride up the road and i'm going to see what it reads okay and uh and then we'll convert it so cool Good. this is the paint destroyer 9000 jeez it's fast I didn't look down! I didn't look down! Oh Run it again! I, I, can't, I can't look down! <laughs> Alright, use the speed app. Use the speed app. Here. That's so funny. <laughs> I pulled up and I'm like, so proud of myself I didn't dump it. And I didn't look down at the speed on <laughs> Awesome. My fault. That's alright. Here, try it again. Yeah, thank you. I feel like I could have gone a little faster. I came out of it a little bit too soon. So that was almost all it had. This though. was probably three quarter. Okay. Yeah, 39 miles an hour. Okay. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Um, so I feel like it's got a good uh, 45 up here if I just really stay in it. Okay. But uh, the battery is starting to get a little low. Oh, is it? 64%. Percent. Yeah. Okay. So we're still good, but. Yeah. We'll fire up that gas motor, man. Let's fire up the gas motor. I can't tell if it's working or not. I mean, is it working? It's so, it's quiet. You can't tell. Yeah, it's working. When you give it the gas, 
it goes, and then you crack the electric motor, and it's like hitting turbo. Nice. It's like it's like boost building up, and it just takes off. That's awesome. <laughs> it's pretty good, dude. You want to drive it up and down the road? Yeah. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, we also only have rear brakes, so there's that. He did 39.1 miles an hour. You think you could do much more out here with, with the boost function or no? Uh, okay. I mean, so I achieved the top speed I felt comfortable with. Fair enough. So, that's it. Yeah. The acceleration though, it's, a, it's pretty insane. It looks wild. Yeah, it really is. sitting on it. It's, uh, you, you should probably try the electric first. And then gas, and then both. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> He's laughing. There's a huge clump of dirt that just fell off the bottom of this thing. All right, I thought I was going to hate it. Yeah. It's kind of like one of the coolest things we've ever done. It's it's cool, but do you feel the no control in the steering when For the front sure. tires... It's like traction control. I'm telling you, it keeps you upright, keeps you going straight. Okay. It's built for the drag strip. Okay. Uh, we, definitely need, cool. we definitely need uh, a better tire on the front. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, this this street tire that's on it is a. I'm a little worried about washing out with this thing. Yeah. There's like no traction when it's going. None. But I'm pretty impressed with the uh, with with the engineering on this, man. I thought it was a. Uh, I thought this was I'm, gonna crash and burn so hard. I thought so too, and but it still might. It's it's pretty good. It is very good. So now it's time to find out if this whole crazy experiment was worth it. We did our before benchmark performance testing with just the gas motor. Now we're going to get Ike lined up to see if it goes any quicker in acceleration over the same period. Maybe not. Look at, have you noticed this flap of dirt? <laughs> it's just the shape of the fender. Oops. Yeah, we could make a new, uh, that's a mold right there. So, yeah, we're going to put a dirt tire on that, but, you know, just for giggles, we're going to see what it does with the uh, dual sport. much faster so we're gonna run it again and get an average but that's just under half a second faster in just this short span seven tenths faster than our before runs. I mean, you can see it. It is properly quick. 
So we're gonna do a gas only run and then a both run. Ready? On your mark, get set, go! All right, 6.4. So that was without the electric motor. That was all gas. Let's try electric or both. Both. Gas and electric. Ready, set, go. Oh, yeah, that is like well over a second faster on the hill climb. Absolutely insane. Got it off. Right, hey, good was, job, buddy. That was pretty good. Um, what yeah. a crazy idea. It is. Did you notice that I was coming in kind of leaning? Yeah. Because there's no steering. <laughs> the tire's spinning. <laughs> right. The second I let out of it, it would it would straighten up. But I was about to dump it. Glad you didn't. Yeah, I know. Pretty fast. What was that run? That was like a 1.28 seconds faster than your first one. That's great. Yeah. That's great. So just for laughs, at the very end of the video, we're gonna run it on electric only up the hill climb. I think this is a crazy idea. It's not for everybody. It's kind of like a methanol motor. It's like for a very specific set of tasks. Right. I mean, I'm not gonna call it as good as a methanol motor. It's definitely weird and could use a lot more development, but I think it's very, very cool. So if you're enjoying this build, be sure to leave a thumbs up on this video and, um, Share it with your friends and uh, let us know in the comments what else should we do with it. All right, thank you all for watching. Let's run electric only and then look at the data. See you next time. No control. No control at all. No control. The one person that uh, was the funniest was the, the the people that sold you this motor. They You were like, we're going to put it on the front. And they were like, do not put it up front. We're going to put it up front anyway. Pretty much. They, they literally told me not to.